why I gave him my own segment on the show. So today I'm in the kitchen, been doing some triple berry mix. Not nothing really hard, simple, add water, add milk, you know. But just got a taste for some triple berry muffins. So I'm about to whip that up. I think I'm gonna use milk today. I usually just get some water. My wife will have white position. So I can just go right here and get some milk. Milk will be good. Great. Turn it. So, pretty simple. I think I'm supposed to put my oven on about 400. I put it on like 375. This oven keeps keep, keep coming fast. So I always spray your pan. You don't want to be trying to take your muffins out and they breaking up and tearing out. So spray your pan with it. I, I fill all these up. But somebody else will want some. This I'm strange and this is how people say they don't eat stuff as soon as they come out of the oven, they own it. So. And then just a guesstimate, you know. Once you've been cooking for a while, you kind of can got a feel for it. If I would have poured too much, though, it would have been over with. My business is so phone calls come in, but and I do everything by guesstimate, you know. Been in the kitchen for a while, so it's cool. I fill my uh, cups up about halfway, so when they puff up. It'll be to the top. And like I said, some people want to use measuring cups and different things to me. I just pour it in there. Don't make 12, 12 uh, muffins regardless. Some of them you might can go back and add a little bit too, but nevertheless, this is what it is. Scraping the bowl a little bit so you know you about right when you get to the last one. I always gonna have a little bit left, so I usually take that and catch the slackers. Any of the slacking, I take me a spoonful, add to them, make them all come out pretty even. Making a mess today a little bit. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. You can just throw a little rag and wipe off. Me personally, I don't know if y'all saw that, but yeah. I get a little bit of the dip, taste it. This is my wife over there doing the same thing, y'all. She's trying to hide. She's over there licking it all. Uh, the mix. So. And we get ready to put it in the oven. I will take a little towel and wipe off the excess. Because you don't want it cooking up here. Some of your mix. Keep everything neat, clean, spray down good, so they shouldn't be sticking. And there you have it. Triple berry mud. We'll let it, we'll let it stay in the oven for about 15 minutes. So I will get back with you guys in about 15, 20 minutes, and let y'all see the finished product of the triple berry mud. Turn up, turn this has been Country Kitchen, uh, turn up, turn this edition. We out.